hi, how are you today? As a continuation of some of the stuff I talked about in Venus Retrograde and this retrograde sandwich we're having with several retrogrades, there are a lot of hidden things that are intended to come out of the woodwork. I'm gonna talk about some of those in this video because I wanna spark you up and make you think about this and stop you from being upset or angry because upset doesn't help any of us doesn't help you. Angry definitely doesn't help any of us. If we back up, we could look over our history and think to ourselves, we've mainly handled things as a crisis mode. When things go into a crisis mode, there's some people that just run around like chicken little with their heads cut off and thinking the sky is falling. Instead of being able to keep a cool, calm, you know, evenly balanced, part of themselves to find solutions. We are hitting that mark in history now because it's part of our future. And so how do we go and bring this to a rewind point? Venus retrograde, homes, family, money, 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 love life, love life, love life, love life. So if you're really wondering about things like your love life, things having to do especially with money, your financial resources, family stuff, this is not just about family, um, let's say ancestral patterns that are biological, like um, high blood pressure runs in your family. This is about what are the financial patterns of your family and finding and overcoming some of that hidden stuff. Now, maybe your family doesn't talk about finances. That doesn't mean that your spirit and soul doesn't want to guide you and do a total mind, body, spirit thing with you about your money. Believe me, I know this. And... Back in the day, I have worked as a banker for 20 years. That put me in good stead when it comes to really helping people sort these parts of their life because you're not intended to be a starving artist for the sake of love, as the expression goes. You're not intended to choose love or finances. You're intended to have it all. Maybe you're not there yet. It's just one of those many yets that are on the journey, but it can happen. It happens with choices. So when it comes to homes, okay, this is a big one. Worldwide, there is a crisis. Housing is a crisis worldwide, whether it's due to climate change, such as flooding, earthquakes, fires, wildfires, man-made set fires, accidental negligent fires, accidental negligence of not maintaining the dam and it wound up over flooding and just, you know, wiping out entire villages and towns. This is negligence. Yeah, that's man-made. What can we do about it? Because it needs to stop being handled as a crisis. Focus on you. Get that focus on yourself, your family, your things, what you need, how you need it. How do you manifest? Okay. Hidden things will still come up, but it's not always in the mode of a hidden thing that is intended to alarm you. Sometimes it can be very delightful. So I'm going to give you an example. This week, as I was coming out of my dream state, I was feeling the messages when I went into my communing state and I kept getting the words unclaimed property, unclaimed property. Now you may have heard people say things such as return all the things to their rightful owners. Well, this is a part of it. And I live in a state where there is a big push to get unclaimed property returned to people that it truly belongs to. So two days later, I actually saw a news article because it kind of slipped my mind to really look into it. And I had other stuff to do. And I just said to myself, yeah, I'll get to it. <laughs> Jotted it as a note. Here's what happened. I see this article because when my higher self really needs me to pay attention, it comes up in several ways, like little signposts. Like, hey, remember this? Hey, remember that? Hey, remember that? That's your higher self looking out for you. If you don't know how to connect your higher self and really get those connections in so that it benefits your life, oh, it is time for you to join and join my webinars, classes, and materials, and sessions. 
because that is what I help people with to get the things that are specific for you. So this article said that the state of Illinois, because hey, I'm in Chicago, Illinois, the state of Illinois is holding three and a half billion dollars of unclaimed property. Three and a half billion, whoa, that's a lot. Well, we have a lot of people. There's a lot of density in the city of Chicago and some of the other larger cities of our state. So if we have the state that is saying, hey, we're holding all this, and this is what the article said, they were gonna start sending it out because they're tired of it sitting on their books. The government's tired of money sitting on their books. Well, essentially, the article didn't say it that way. I'm saying it that way, but that's what it amounts to. They can't rightfully hold it. Why should the government have your money more than they need to, right? It should be a little more of an automated process and not a crisis. Can we have a process, not crisis? Pro let me say it again, process, not crisis. So the point being that sometimes there are things that come to light and come to your attention as the result of your higher self helping you. But when your higher self is involved, you elevate away from that fraudulent, corrupt level. And that is what your brand new twin flame body and twin flame connections do for you. So when you had that awakening and you know it's Venus retrograde and you know Venus is controlling your houses of homes, money, love life, it's because you need to be loved and manifest and get the proper things back to you and have a lovely loving home that your twin flame can come into energetically and then physically because we are ending this on a physical note. Even if we're not there yet. Even if you're in a separation, even if you are losing hope that this is ever going to happen, think of this as stuff that is preparatory. It is preparing you. It is lining your streets. It is setting you up for a great leveling up and comeback. That's priceless. Even if there's financial things involved, you cannot put that kind of help from above, except that it is you helping you. It's you loving you into a better state of being despite that. So let me just say something else. A lot of people worry, what if I'm married? So what if you're married? Do you think your higher self doesn't care about you and like worries that, you know, no, you can still be doing this even if you're in a relationship, even if you are married. You can do some of the things that it takes and you should. Okay, don't just sit on the sidelines and be like, well, one day when I'm divorced or if my karma comes to their senses, no, we're not here to like bash all our other soulmates, even if they've been negative to us. There is another way to do it and it's an above board way and I'm here to help you with that. So I hope this clarifies some of the hidden things that can come to light. This is just some of it. Some of it could be those like, silver lining kind of things and encourage you look for the silver lining. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye now.